step-by-step -step tutorial, how to set up a LED wall using Nova LCT, all presented by PAVLS. Introduction. Ever wondered how to set up a jaw-dropping LED wall display just like this one? Whether you're doing a concert, a church event, or a digital billboard, this step-by-step -step tutorial will show you exactly how to configure your LED wall using Nova LCT, even if it's your first time. In this video, we're using the Nova Star VX 600 controller and 2.6 millimeter pixel pitch panels in a seven x three layout. I'll walk you through everything from wiring and reading your RCGF file to lighting it up like a pro. Part one, understanding the basics. What is Nova LCT? Nova LCT is Nova Star's official LED configuration software. You can download Nova LCT at novastar.tech slash downloads, then select software tab and scroll down to Nova LCT. Always make sure you download the official software from Nova Star website and have the updated version of the software. Nova LCT is Nova Star's official LED configuration software. It allows you to configure LED layout, load RCFG or RCFGX files, map video inputs to pixel areas, and monitor LED panel signal status. Simple analogy. Think of Nova LCT as the remote control for the brains behind your LED wall. On point two, how LED wall control systems work. Let's break this down into three parts. One, sending device VX600 accepts HDMI, DVI, etc., and converts it to data, sends pixel data through Ethernet to LED panels. Two, receive two. Receiving cards, there should be one inside each panel. Each lead wall panel has one receiving card. This receiving card receives data from the sending device and lights up pixel on your modules accordingly. And lastly, wiring and mapping. If panel order isn't configured correctly in Novi LCT, you'll get a jumbled screen or no signal at all. Part two, let's discuss the physical layout of the LED wall the type of panel and type of controller that will be used. For this tutorial, we're going to use a pixel pitch 2.6 LED wall with a dimensional height and width of 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters or 19.68 inches by 19.68 inches. For the controller, we will be using the VX600 by Novastar and the final layout will be seven panels wide or columns and three panels high, or rows. Total screen size would be 11.48 feet by 4.9 feet. Part 2.2, connecting the cables. Connect your laptop or desktop to the VX600 controller. Begin by connecting an HDMI cable from your laptop or desktop to the HDMI input port on the back of the VX600 controller. Next, locate the USB Type-B cable and connect it to the USB Type-B port, also found on the back of the VX600. This will establish communication between your computer and the controller. Part 2.2, connecting the data cables on your lead wall. Now let's build a seven column by three row LED wall. Each row uses a separate port from the same sending box. Use this image to visualize the layout of the wall. Take note of the port number and panel number. This will be important later when we configure this Innova LCT. We start from the top right panel, labeled panel 01, using sending 01, port 01. We connect each panel going left from panel 01 to panel 07. Row two, middle row. We begin again on the right at panel 01, using sending 01, port 02. Then we daisy chain left to panel 07, just like the top row. Row three, bottom row, we use sending 01, port 03, starting again from the bottom right panel 01. Then we daisy chain left through each panel to panel 07. 
So, each row starts on the right, goes left, uses a separate port on the sender. Top row goes to port 1 in VX600. Middle row goes to port 2 in VX600. Bottom row goes to port 3 in VX600. Follows a straight line from one panel to the next. This is called a horizontal daisy chain layout. Before we start, make sure you connect the HDMI input located in the back of processor to your computer using, of course, an HDMI cable. Next, connect the USB input from the VX600 to your computer. This allows Nova LCT to detect and communicate with the processor. Now launch Nova LCT on your computer and wait for it to launch the main window. When the main window is launched, click User from the main menu and then click Advanced Synchronous System Login. The User Login window will appear. Enter admin in lowercase as the password. Screen Configuration window selection will appear. Select USB port corresponding to the USB cable you have connected from your computer to the video processor, and then click Next. You will be taken to the main screen configuration window. Take note of the three tabs on top of it, the Sending Card tab, the receiving card tab, and the screen connection tab. For now, we will skip the sending card window and then go straight to the receiving card window. In the receiving card window, you'll see details about the LED wall cabinets, control hub, and modules. Typically, the control hub is pre-configured by the LED wall supplier and saved onto the cabinet's receiving card. To verify this configuration, click the Read from Receiving Card button at the bottom right of the window. This will read the data stored in the panel's receiving card and provide the processor with the correct configuration details for the panel you're using. The receiving card selection window will open, prompting you to enter the sending card number, typically one, port number, set to one, and receiving card number, set to one. This assumes you've connected the first working LED cabinet to port one of the sending card or your video processor. Once Nova LCT finishes reading the receiving card from your panel, verify that the displayed cabinet information matches your panel's specifications, especially the width and height. For example, with a pixel pitch of 2.6, the panel resolution should typically be 192 pixels by 192 pixels. Now that we have verified that the cabinet information matches the data of our LED panel and no errors are showing up, we should start sending the same information to all of the cabinets. Locate the Send to Receiving Card button, it's in the bottom left of the window, and press it. A confirmation window will pop up. Select the All Receiving Card and then press Send. This will copy the matching RCGF file to all the cabinets connected to your video processor. Next, click Save to File and store it on your computer. This creates a backup of your LED panel's RCFG, Receiving Card Configuration File. You'll need this file if your LED panels ever lose their configuration data from the receiving card. Now that we're done with the receiving card window, let's jump to the Screen Configurations tab. Take note of the following fields that we're going to use to properly configure the panel's data connection. First is the Ethernet port number located on the middle left side hand of the window. Next is the receiving card size section, which defines the pixel resolution of your panel, both width and height. This should match the information we retrieved earlier from the receiving card window. If the values don't match, update them to the correct size before proceeding with the data connection. Lastly, set the number of columns and rows to match the layout of your physical LED wall panels. This ensures the software accurately reflects your actual screen configuration. In our case, the LED wall is seven columns wide and three rows high. Enter these values in this section to match the actual panel layout. Let's start mapping the panels. First, Select Ethernet port 1 from the port panel. Make sure the receiving card size matches your panel's resolution, in our case, 192 by 192 pixels. Then, 
Click on the rightmost panel in the top row and drag left across the row until you reach the seventh panel on the left. Repeat the same process for the middle row, but this time select port two first. Then click and drag from the rightmost panel to the left, just like before. This tells Nova LCT that port two is assigned to the middle row of the LED wall. And last but not least, select port three, then click and drag from the rightmost panel to the left once again. This assigns the bottom row of your LED wall to Ethernet port 3 on your processor. Now all that's left is to send the configuration to your video processor. Click the Send to HW or Send to Hardware button to apply the settings. The data transfer may take up to a minute. Once it's complete, check your LED video wall to ensure the changes have been properly applied. To finish the setup, click the Save button at the bottom right of the screen and save the file to your computer. This will also store the configuration directly on your video processor for future use. Congratulations, you've successfully set up your LED video screen. Everything is now mapped, configured, and saved both to your computer and your video processor. If you're preparing for an event or live installation, now is a good time to test your content playback to ensure the screen displays video and graphics correctly. Check for any misaligned panels or dead pixels. Save a backup of your Nova LCT project file and configuration in case you need to reload it later. Label your connections and ports if the screen will be moved or reassembled in the future. A properly configured LED wall ensures smooth operation and fewer issues on show day. Great job. Save this video and share it with your staff and technicians for future reference. Having everyone on the same page ensures faster setups, fewer errors, and smoother event operations. We hope this guide has helped you and your team successfully set up your LED wall screen. If you found it useful, consider adding it to your standard training resources. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Stay bright, just like your LED wall. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and LED setup guides. Your support helps us create more helpful content for professionals like you.